My people, you don't shell it. Oh, eh, but has done it again. No, oh. the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile has done it again. <laughs> this one a shocker. Oh. Watch this video. Just listen to this video. Listen to this video. Get this video. Can you hear now? What? Oku ane oku oku. Eh ane me me. Eh? Oku no doku ane koka. Just listen to watch this video and see what is happening uh, because it's not only uh, what I myself will tell you, but listen to the hot horse's mouth who is the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile and you will be able to understand what this man is saying. Oh, talk him. talk him. My work here is just to analyze. Uh, what is going on on all over the world meanwhile before if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel please go ahead and subscribe to our channel like share comment and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever we are posting news you will be the first we'll collect them oh yeah make i carry you thunder for that matter will be say you do wait for listen to waiting this man got to tell uh, the people and uh, make you follow me reason waiting i the reason oh. so it is going to be one thing that uh, that is going to make history in the Biafra liberation. So everybody should watch out for the Biafra first ever convention in Finland in October 2023. There we are going to go. There we are going to go through the process of the self-referendum. Uh, many speakers will come. Experts will come to lecture those that will be in attendance to know how the Biafra will conduct a self-referendum, what we expect, and how it is going to end and how it's going to go. And then also we may have the privilege to know some of the secret, you know, especially those uh, the cabinet members. Uh, we are going to have some lectures for people to have the privilege to know what to expect at every given point in time. Thank you. Yes, happy. Um, well, um, re I responded. But I want to ask: there is a narrative going on in Nigeria. The media are saying, given your stronghold in Biafra land, given the Bia when I say you, I'm talking about the Biafra government in exile, their stronghold in Biafra land. There is a narrative going on that uh, Mazinam de Kano will, does no, no longer um, hold, have command over the Biafra people. So whether releasing him, will be very irrelevant because he can no longer command the level of command he was commanding because he will come uh, uh he will be at odd with the biafran government in Ezai that we further exacerbate already things um situation so what is the real situation that is complete fallacy and i will tell you that it is not their problem mazinam dekano i am under him and i believe when you talk about the biafra government you are talking about me and the cabinet. So if I agree on this platform today and the numerous platform that I, I remain under Mazin and Bikano, I don't think uh, any other person have anything to doubt about that. If you want to just deceive yourself and continue to remain in denial. So once he come out, he will be in charge of this movement. Let them release him and uh, put me uh, in doubt or in, in dispute what I'm, what I'm claiming here. So if you come out today, I will say, this is what I've done, this is what I've done, this is where we are. How do we move forward? So don't listen to those people who want to sell the narrative of uh, Mazin and Ricano cannot control the situation again and blah, blah, blah. Let them release him first and know whether he will control the situation or not. Thank you. Yes, I'll be here. Thank you. Have yeah, uh, uh, you have consistently talked about referendum either United Nations um, um, orchestrated referendum or self-referendum, which you have actually uh, um, announced a date for a convention in Finland, October 2023. But in all this, you are not putting Nigerian constitution into perspective. Nigeria does not have, Nigeria does not have constitution. Nigeria does not have constitution. Which constitution do you want me to put into perspective? What I'm putting into perspective, into, into perspective is the African Charter and all, that, all those, all those uh, treaties that you have in the AU, 
uh, West Africa and all that. I'm not putting the Nigerian constitution into consideration. It doesn't exist. Is it not the same constitution that uh, released Mazen and the Kano and they still there in danger? Is it not the same constitution that uh, made you to lose your palliative during the COVID-19? Is it not the same constitution that made you to lose uh, uh, the borrowing, the, the money they borrowed from China and they gave you zero? Is it not the constitution that made all those nonsense you are going through today? So no, I'm not considering Nigeria constitution. It does not exist. What I'm considering is those international treaties that Nigeria signed into Nigeria with signatory to, which give us the right to self-determination and the right to also the government of the Biafra in exile to conduct election. You know, some people don't understand what, what Biafra government, what government in exile means and what they can do. Government in exile can conduct election. So it is good that people actually do some research and have some knowledge about what we are doing. As a government today, we have the right under international law to conduct election. And that's what we're going to do. Go we'll form a government. Government is legitimate. We have notified almost all the powerful countries in this world. We are legitimate in the United States, our head office and the administrative office in the United States. And we are everywhere in the world, opening as an office here and there. So what people don't know is that government in exile have the right to a military. And that's what we are doing now. We have the Biafra Liberation Army. We have the Eastern Security Network. The government in Ezra have the right to even form a political party. They have the right to conduct election. And we are doing it. So people don't know what we are doing. When we are going to be ready for this self-referendum, if we invite the United Nations, it is left for them to come or not to come. Whoever we invite, if they like, they should come. If they don't like, they don't come. But I'm going to tell you that even if they don't come, we're going to have our referendum, publish the result, and then declare Biafra. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you spoke about it's me again. Thank okay. You. One more question so that we we'll have other people ask questions. They are asking questions. Good. One more question, please. Yeah, you talked about um, if I Uba doing showing something for his constituency, and today we have Peter Uba, uh, Peter Mba, having a lot of uh, money in just two um just two months most of us our worry is not about peter but having a lot of money in two months we have the likes of soludo hopus or Dima that have been there for years and biafran land is like this only this money can fix everything but my question goes does all the senators in the biafran land have a particular allocation for constituency projects, like you mentioned on, on the case of um, Efanyuba, so that we know where we are uh, channel our agitations to. Can you come again with your question? I don't understand it. Uh, Did you hear that? It's me again. Repeat your question, please. The last question. Is it there? I can't hear you again. Repeat your question. No, because the is not to... no, no, calls are coming. I have to drop the year the mic here. In the next time. Thank you. Sir. So come back with that last question before you leave. Okay. The last the last question goes like this. We have seen the the allocation that went to um peter but for in just two months 16 billion naira but our concerns are not, not even peter not just 16 billion 16 billion plus 22.1 billion wow our concern is not just amber seeing the deplorable um, um nation Okay. Oh, they, yeah. they won't allow him to ask this question. If this kind of money comes to Peter Amba in two months, what is um, Soludo getting? What is and if you see another uh, uh, route? All right, all right, uh, all right. I think uh, this is not a question. This is just concern. So the point is that. 
Hit and bar in two months has gotten 38.1 billion naira. Two months, 38.1 billion. That is no single project. Uku Wanyi Yoruba is taking all the money. He is using Yoruba people to steal Biafra money and bank it in London and bank it in, the, in, in Lagos and the other part of Nigeria, the other part of the world. He doesn't employ any Biafra. He doesn't employ the Igbo people in any state. The key positions were given to Yorubas. We go to Enugu today, we find out that his security, his aid, everybody are all Fulanese. This is what people don't know because he don't trust Ndibo. This is a man who is shouting, Igbo economy. He doesn't trust Ndibo. He doesn't trust any people who voted for him. He's giving appointments to his girlfriends, dragged the woman from, from London, separated with her husband, and then begin to uh, um, uh, you know, appoint other Yoruba people and against Ndibo. This is what Peter Bar has done. Without me, go to Enugu today and check who and who is in charge of many. It is, they are all Yorubas. So both men and women, both his security, his driver, none of them are Igbos. So why would somebody like that be telling you about Igbo economy, Igbo economy? He doesn't love Ndibo. He has come to steal, to kill, to destroy. And we have come to stop him. Thank you. Thank you, my PM. Please, if you are in the house, remember to raise your hands. I have only two hands raised. And uh, we have Ekberima uh, Emekus Emeka. Please unmute yourself. Yes, good evening, Biafran. Um, I'm speaking from Biafran land. I greet you, my PM, Sir Simon Ebanjoko, Odogunoke. I don't know where we are yeah, before we put on the table, no. Yeah, I want to greet um success and Rafael. Then um, it's, I know it's me again. It's me again. I know when they leave, it's me again. You would like to ask a lot of questions because we've always been listening to him and our PM. They always have a conversation. When you are listening to them, you cannot even say anything. So I've been waiting for long for you people to give me the mic. So thank you again for being here with our our PM, Mr. Simon Epa. Um, you know, this um, issue of um, Pit and Bar being allocated in 20 and uh, 22 points, uh, you know, almost um, let me just say 30 billion because this is one we know. This same issue has been going on to hold the, to the whole 38.1 billion in two months. So let us, yes. uh, this, is, this is the one, this is the one, this is the particular one I'm just told us. We have not even talked about the other. Other illegitimate, illegitimate governors in the Biafran land. Now let's come to um, Peter Mba because he wants to show himself. Now let's talk about him. Okay, Peter Mba organized protest against the sit at home. Did he also did he also tell those people that he organized for the sit at home how much they were he, he were paid for that because the home was not just organized by him. He was he was asked to do that and they located the money for him. Did he pay them that particular money that he was supposed to pay them? Or is he just maybe giving them 2,000 naira, 3,000? Because, you know, our people are very foolish. You know, most of them are very that are educated, also call themselves educated. They are the most foolish people in Japan. Even my mom, even my mother at, his, at her age now knows what is it at home and knows the benefit of it at home and knows, the, knows what she is going to benefit from the Africans because she knows that, yes, Tomorrow is going to be good for our children, but yet these all these educated idiots, these educated and people, because most of them are all these M M M people, be all these M M B J people. They are the ones doing all these things because you know as now they sometimes our people used to say M M they say that M M but this this time around most of them don't know anything. They will like that to them like ten times. They into they want to feel that same before they know what to do. I pity them because it's not there for most of them work under the the Mba the governor. So they don't have choice. They have to obey the, the command they gave to them. But now what my question is now now we have now we have seen the evidence of this allocation given to Peter Mba. Mr PM sir may I, I have to ask a question what measures what measure are we taking to make sure that this man we lose all this money in time to come, in, in most come, in most coming. 
because we cannot just leave him and embezzle this whole money to to Yoruba to to to, to, to the Odudu was to him because I believe that this money is going back to Odudu was because the the Ukunwai that he kept in one place will be collecting this money because whenever she commands him he will do whatever she wants him to do. So I want to know how to get this money back for me because I believe that this is at home cannot he cannot even 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 solve this problem from this and um, then this Olu Walemba. This money is too much. This money are meant for our youth and our mothers and our fathers who are farming to get loan to get loan for their farming and me i'm from any state i know we plant rice and not i'm from an area west we we have enough land for rice if assuming biafra has come today i know number we are number one people we will be planting rice abekeleke will be learning from us i'm sorry to say this i'm from an area west we have, have land for rice production but not nothing not nothing for us to help in this production of rice but today this idiot man peter and is collecting a lot of this money he is using it to get against our, our own our own self-referendum and they, we know what they are doing they don't want us to see the self-referendum to come to but we are going to shock them the same thing that happened to this situation even these two weeks that will shock him even him will start home to in that two weeks that he will run to abuja to come down there so we soon join the call the, the, the and his brothers and sisters there man they are man so your question is your question is them. what are we going to do uh to him for this yeah, we'll so that let me answer let me address you so that other people will join because you are not doing like the person you complain about all right so um uh, we are going to make sure that uh enough civil engineer angel civil engineer uh is deployed to enable state is going to repair and get tired of repairing. Thank you. Very quick answer for you, and that was spot on. Thank you, my Prime Minister. And uh, we have uh, Emma Figo. Emma Figo, please, can you quickly ask your question? Please ask those of you that came in, you need to raise your hand because if questions are asked and you don't raise your hand, I'll drop you and bring in. We have 43 people that are waiting to come in. Thank you, Emma Figo. <coughs> Good evening, all of your friends. Good evening, my PM. Good evening, Pastor Rav, aka Bam Bam Bam. Success. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. And I'm not here to ask questions. I'm just here to tell my PM, well done for your effort towards this struggle. But it's not for you, man. I don't know where you would have been now. You understand? All of us here, we've been seeing how Nigeria is boiling from different places, you know, from the north, from the middle belt, you know, even from the west. And because of your effort, the ease has been preserved, you know, preserved in the sense of, you know, the calmness. The one idiot calling himself it amber, you know, with all these allocations, he just collected in two months. Nothing has been done with this allocation. You no, know, all those people protesting, protesting now. Uh, against it at home. Why are they not protesting for Nam the Kalu to be released? Man, I'm not a Nibu man, but I'm a Biafran. I'm from a Paibu. You know? I'm not happy at all with all these sabotoirs and everything. If I have my ways, I will be the only one to carry them in my hand. I appreciate you, PM. God will always be the time, you know, to achieve this mission. And I pray that God always give it all of you guys, that is. Frontline as well. This freedom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, we are giving a shout out to Aquaibom. Aquaibom has joined the seat at home. And it was a very good, uh, a very good development. And I'm pleased with Aquaibom people. I used to tell people that uh, this is not to agree with pain. You know, it is step by step. You know, and today, Aquaibom have demonstrated that uh, they are not just, uh, you know, uh, part of Biafra, but they are Biafras. And they have, uh, uh, you know, they, have, uh, they, were, they set at home and it has started from there. From there, it is going to spread to the all crannies of Biafra land, from Ed to Z, from the Hinta to, to the River Rhine, down to Lower Kogi, down to Lower Benue. So I thank uh, those of you at Quibomite to for the wonderful job you have done to see that the seat at home has commenced in Aquaibom State. Thank you very much.
uh, thank you my friend i appreciate i appreciate your effort god bless you bro all thank you so much ima you're blessed all right uh, we have um messy messy michael can you please unmute yourself and ask uh, the pm your question <laughs> Okay, uh, good evening, uh, dear friends and lovers of freedom. Your speaker is very speaker low. Can you do something to it? Can you do something to it? Off. Put off the one where you are watching off. Now very well now. And the voice is double. The voice is double. Am I coming out very well now? Yeah, but you have to yeah, make sure you, you put off you the other device. The other device. It's on there. It's on there. Uh, there's none. There's none actually. I don't know. Maybe it's my network. Why if I right. come in out very well now? Bring your question. Um, Bring your question, please. Okay. Um, my, my, my Prime Minister, Your Excellency, um, good evening from here. Uh, please, my question yeah, goes like this. There is, there is a band uh, our, our leader, Onyendu, uh, you know, place that their friends, those in the Afghan land can be contributing. Uh, what are you doing to lift, or was there any plan to lift that band? That's my number one question because at it is now it's very very priority that everybody should be contributing. You can see the kind of amount that eight point something billion naira that uh, these guys are going to siphon outside Biafra land. Another thing is, is there anything that uh, your government in exile can do to to be intercepting this kind of fund or create awareness uh, in, in diaspora for for international community to help us to. To stop these guys from doing this because they are still putting their friends in their family in abject poverty it's very obvious they're not going to do anything with this money so these are my questions your pm thank you sir thank you very much and yes the biafra liberation tax uh i've answered that question if i don't know whether you are here then we are going to leave that ban because of the Face we are now in the Biafra Liberation. So we are going to have what we call the Biafra Liberation Tax, which is already ongoing on the Biafra, uh, on the uh, IPUB USA uh, website. All right, the wonderful people. Now do I see, exactly I see the hot. Uh, so see that particular Biafra local. Liberation <laughs> Tax is going to us. Uh, in the hot like fire. Uh, in the hot like fire. Uh, uh, hot like fire. You get to this song where they sing, see my body, they hot like the fire. Oh. <laughs> the PM Simon the, uh, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, don't talk him. <laughs> and uh, the man, so I'm sure you're good with the uh, answer. The talk Thank you very much. Yeah, like I tell you, say yeah, the quickly, Finland government, don't uh, uh, don't the Nigeria government say, uh, man, this is someone Eban and their son say, you know, get with the go say this matter Good government evening. by government talk to his uh, uh, excellency senator prime minister of the government in exile and what he go do mr simon by president talk neke ne 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 Okay, <laughs> 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 <